Hi, Karen with Celestial Illuminations. Wanted to share a new tool that I found. And uh, before I get into that, I wanted to share part of my ritual for preparing for these webcasts. And I am a, just in case I've not mentioned it before, I'm a Young Living uh, independent distributor and Young Living, uh, if you will, creates and sells uh, essential oil products, therapeutic grade, essential oil, therapeutic grade, pure. These are pure essential oils and uh, essential oils and essential oil infused products. So I use the essential oils for different rituals. One of the uh, practices I have in preparing for my readings and for opening my chakra, my third eye chakra, I use white angelica, which is this bottle here. And I typically will take a drop. I'm going to open it up uh, right now. I'm just going to actually smell it. And sometimes I just wave it around the area I'm working on as well. I inhale it deeply. I put it on me physically. I apply it topically, typically to my neck, shoulders. Uh, white angelica is a great oil for protection, uh, for opening yourself up to source and spiritual guides, um, whether you believe in those or not. Uh, so I use white angelica. So it keeps negativity away. So I use this a lot when I go out, whether I'm grocery shopping, when I'm encountering others, I do wear white angelica. It's, it has a floral scent. Um, I'll get into what's in the oil in a future video, but uh, it's really great for creating an aura of protection and uh, keeping negativity at bay. The second oil I use is called Envision. And as I mentioned before, you can use either or oil, essential oil, on your third eye. And your third eye is right like on your forehead, like above the highest part of your forehead. I typically r rub it in one drop in a, a clockwise position, and I inhale it as well and to infuse uh, the arena to protect the environment, sacred space. Um, and I use Envision, it's a blend of multiple oils as well, to help me have clarity in what I'd like to say, to help me understand from an intuitive standpoint what messages um, I'm supposed to receive and share. So that's the way I prepare. And then I have a couple of uh, gemstones here. Um, they are uh, Unikite. And Unikite's a grounding uh, uh, stone, if you will. And I can get into all of these in another video. But I just wanted to share what these things are doing here. And the tool that I found is called Astro Dice. I bought it through Amazon and I went back and forth about whether I wanted to try it or not. As a, a serious student of astrology, I wanted to, one of my goals is to share the basic symbol, symbols of astrology. And um, there's different ways to internalize learning. So I thought this could be a great tool for myself and for others. Um, and you can also do readings with it as well. So basically it, it's the, like the size of, of your hand um, or the size of my hand. Maybe I should say that. And it comes in this metal tin. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, it's nicely designed. It shows you the three dice on the cover. Um, this is the sidebar of the astrological glyphs of what's on, what the different symbols are. And, and the back is uh, testimonials of people who've used this and um, the information about who makes it. It's called Wessick Astrologer, and they can be found at wessickastrologer.com. I can put that information at the uh, description area below, so check that out. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to try to open this up. I'm moving everything around here. And as you can tell, it has a black velvet-like pouch. I hear the die, the three die in here. And it also comes with a little cute booklet. I'm saying cute because this is small. Uh, how many pages is it? We've got 24 pages. And it gives up the symbols of 
the planets, the zodiac, and the houses. And then if you open it up, it gives the meanings of the planets, signs, and houses. And let's see if we go in the back. It can also help synthesize, if you will, any meanings and readings as well. So that's pretty cool. So I wanted to share this with you. And I'm going to do some actual divination and, and, and learn um, how to use this. So I'm going to take the die out of the pouch, put the pouch here. Um, Let's kind of put the pouch. I can put the pouch here to use as a contrast. So you have three die, and one's green, one's blue, one's purple. I want to make sure the light allows you to see them. Um, they're 12 sided, they're lightweight, so I would think they're plastic, some type of plastic. Um, the blue die has numbers on it to represent the 12 zodiac houses. The green die has symbols on it to represent the planets. And the purple die has symbols on it representing the 12 zodiac signs. So that's pretty cool. So we have the planets, houses, and signs, zodiac signs. So you can shake them in your hand, like I'm doing, and you can ask a question. I will let you know it's not advisable to ask yes or no questions or either or questions. So some people say, what's the difference? Well, you need to ask open-ended questions to what you'd like to learn. So since we've prepared the space and my eyes are closed and the question that's popping up in my mind is what are the energies for the day? And what are the best ways to use the energy for today? And today being February 20th, 2016. So I'm going to throw them on the pouch or attempt to. <laughs> and what I'm showing are the number one, the sign of Mercury, the planet Mercury, and the zodiac sign of Gemini. Now I don't know if my camera is allowing us to zoom on that one. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let's try it and see how this works. Bear with me. I'm zooming. That's as close as it'll let me go. Let's see if I can. I just don't want it to go too out of focus. Let's see. This is Mercury. And Mercury is, let's see, you know, there's another way for me to show you this, but I want to make sure it stays in focus. It's a circle with two little pieces, the two strings coming out the top and the plus sign on the bottom. That's the sign of planet Mercury. And then we have Gemini, which is like the Roman numeral two. And then we have the number one. Everyone knows what that number is. So I'm going to the book, the book that came with it, and see how they break it down. Break it down, break it down, break it down. So we start with the symbol of the planets, I believe. And the first other planet we have is Mercury, and it states that Mercury is named after the Quicksilver Messenger of the Gods and represents your thoughts and communications. If you've thrown Mercury on the die, the issue is concerned with your ability to communicate or to think logically. It may be necessary to speak or write in the manner shown on the other die to resolve a problem or attain your goal. Mercury refers to picking up and giving out information and is swift and changeable. It is a chameleon-like energy faster than the speed of thought. It offers you a variety of options and is encouraging you to be flexible and youthful in your outlook. When Mercury appears, you're being advised to hatch ideas, move around, speak to others. How or where you should do this is suggested by the other dice thrown. Mercury also rules the day Wednesday, markets, roads, nuts, foxes, birds, jugglers, journalists, and the respiratory system in the body. That's a lot of information. So based on the question I asked, what are the energies of the day and how best to use them for success? I'm taking this that my thoughts and communication are key 
And using this communication as I am now is one way I can be using the energy for the day. All right, the next part of this little booklet goes into the zodiac sign. So we're going to go to the sign of Gemini. And Gemini, I know, where are you, Gemini? Finding it in the booklet here. Here it is. Gemini manifests in a light and communicative manner. It is versatile, changeable, and restless, ever seeking variety and movement. It is a quick thinking, alert, and full of new ideas. As the sign of the twins, Gemini is able to perform several tasks at once. The energy is suited to being adaptable and branching out in many directions. If the dice show Gemini, it may also be referring to the time of the year between May 22nd and June 21st when the sun is in Gemini, or referring to a person born during this time. Gemini rules the hands and arms in the body. Gemini also rules the following places, Arkansas, Egypt, Kentucky, London, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Wales, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. So if I had to consolidate this, Gemini is commutative, so that goes back to our Mercury theme. It's versatile and changeable, so that means we're pretty flexible today. Um, it's seeking variety and movement, so maybe that's why I'm sharing this new tool with you as well. Uh, it's quick thinking. Uh, I am full of new ideas today, personally. Um, the sign of the twins. That's interesting. I'll have to see what theme comes up from that. And I am doing various things at one time. So that I can see as being part of the energies of the day. And for me, um, I have a friend who's a Gemini who does have a lot of these characteristics. I am using my hands. I just threw the dice. Um, in terms of locations, I don't see a parallel, but the day's not over. So let's see. Going to the first house, the first house represents the area of life that affects your personality. It describes your physical appearance and personal mannerisms. It's the way that you meet your immediate environment and the impact you make on it. Hmm. The first house describes the impressions and is the and is the part of your character that other people will see. If the first house is thrown on the dice, the issue will concern you above anything or anyone else. It is speaking directly about you and your self-expression. So that's pretty cool um, in terms of how the energies are. So here I am sharing with you a new astrological tool, some of my plans on how to share what I learned with you in a fun manner, also sharing some of my own practices when it comes to using essential oils and some of the gemstones. Um, so I have a desire for knowledge, so it's asking questions. Uh, so, you know, I, I see how this all kind of fits together for the energy for the day, you would have to determine if that energy is parallel for you or not. Um, I did ask open-ended. I didn't ask for myself. I asked just in general. So, um, so this will be a good productive day, and it has been so far. So that's pretty cool. So I, I really do like this, and I'll be using this um, tool in many ways. Uh, as we learn on our journey with astrology. So I'm excited to share this with you. And one of the things I'm also thinking about doing is offering readings. Um, if you have like three questions, um, I haven't put it together yet. So maybe I should take a little bit of time and think about what I'd like to offer and then let you know in a video on its own. Um, I Astro Dice readings and how you can order yours and how I would be able to deliver it to you. For now, thanks for your time. Thanks for your interest. And I hope you like this tool. I think I'm going to like it a lot.